Anyway, Actually let's crap. get to waiver wide. Lots to get through today. We'll also talk about uh, our best futures bets at the end of the show, in addition to Monday Night Football. But let's start off, Matthew, with some strategy. How do you approach waiver wide for uh, playoff teams? I think it de- right. I think it depends on. I think this is important. It depends on where you are in your league and have a real sense of your team, right? So if you're like, say, I'm just pulling an example out of thin air. Say you're like me in our show league. Okay. Right where I'm eight and two, I'm in first place. I'm making the playoffs. Right, Good this is happening. This is absolutely happening. Right, um, and uh, so now what I'm doing is is I'm looking for backups to my running back. Like I like I have a good team. So now it's about uh, fortifying my team for the playoff run. Looking ahead, looking at the schedule of who my guys are playing in the playoffs. Are there is, if you play in a league that has that's defenses, like can you grab a defense that might be good in the playoffs, that sort of thing, and also just um, making sure you have the insurance backs. Like you have Tony Pollard, you want to go grab Rico Dowdle. I know T- Pollard hasn't been great, but you wouldn't want to lose him as we get near. Yeah. Like the guys that are sitting on your bench that you've been you've been waiting for these guys to pop. Like you can, okay, like you know what I mean, like. Um, you're now looking, your, your focus is now about fortifying your roster and constructing your team entirely about the playoffs. You're not worried about the next couple of weeks. Meanwhile, if you're a team that's, you know, whatever, five and five, maybe you're like Lawrence, you're three and seven in our league, something like that, just to throw him under the bus. I was actually going to, I was actually going to bring a counterpoint to that. So what, this is, what do you do if you have slim <laughs> playoff <laughs> chance hopes, you know what I'm saying? So, but right. let, you no, finished. you had some bad injury luck. I'm just, I'm having fun with you. But the, uh, the fact is, is that no but like if you're five and five and you're like every mat then then you're looking at somebody like ty chandler or devin singletary who might be valuable this week you know somebody that you you need to now you're just on a week-to-week basis right so like we're gonna get into our running back uh waivers and i have keaton mitchell at third as my third running back because singletary and chandler should have more value this week especially if madison doesn't play on sunday night um but if you're asking me biggest upside for the rest of the season like there's a chance Keaton Mitchell becomes like poor man's Devon Achan. Like, I mean, yeah. he's got that kind of speed. Like, he could pop that way over the second half. And so you want that kind of uh, – those kind of guys as well. I also think it's not worth – it's worth picking up, like, think about, you know, what Christian Watson did down the stretch. What Think about what Amon Ross St. Brown did down the stretch mm-hmm. his rookie year. Like, rookie wide receivers especially start to pop. So is there – like, I don't think Quentin Johnson is something that I love this week, but could he be – could he some, could he pop later? Could Marvin Mims pop – later in the season as we get on so again like i think you can take a few more of those chances if you're give you another example if if like i've been struggling at tight end i'd rather grab three or four tight ends on my bench and hope that i figure out one over the next couple of weeks um where uh, if i'm if i know i'm in the playoffs whereas if i'm trying to get to the playoffs i'm not doing that i'm just going with whatever tight end i'm going to start this week last thing to mention here before we get there week 13 the week before the playoffs in a lot of leagues most some leagues start week 14 some start week 15 but either way week 13 is going to be a key week uh to try to get into the playoffs and just get ahead of this because that is a brutal week it is bike by apocalypse two by mageddon two here's who's on by in week 13 the ravens the bills the bears the giants the raiders the vikings so justin it's jefferson Devonte adams josh jacobs saquon barkley dj moore Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews, so on and so forth. That's right? some people's whole roster. Right right. There. I'm just so I'm just saying again, use this. People aren't focused yet on week 13. Focus on week 13. If you're sitting there at five and five, you're six and four. You're like, hey, I need to win out to make the playoffs, and just realize, looking ahead, like, hey, what's my schedule? What's my team going to look like in week 13 specifically? Again, you can never deal with injuries, but just. Understand how you approach the waiver wire this week and the rest of the season depends on where your team is, whether you're definitely making the playoffs or if you need to start winning some games. This is be honest with yourself time. This is look in the mirror time. This is not time to like, you know, no, no, he's coming around. This is like yeah, be honest they, with yourself. They, they, like, you know, they have or they have you not. know if you got it or you don't. OK, and so yeah. like we can smoke and mirrors our way there, but we just got to be aware of what we have. When you mentioned Keaton Mitchell in uh you know in our show league, I actually have Keaton uh-huh. Mitchell on my three and seven team. That's part of the reason it's three and seven. But I have guys like Aaron Jones who was hurt early in right. the season, which is why I'm three and seven. Garrett Wilson who wasn't who's just now, but it's too late now, you know. So if you're in that position. 
three and seven with some guys just now starting to play good. It may be some teams that are eight and two. Like you might have to give up one of them guys to get some depth if you're still fighting for that last chance uh, at the fantasy right. playoffs. Like you should you should be like, hey Matthew, I'm Keaton Mitchell. Keaton Mitchell is a good, you know, he's like so so this week. Uh, and he's going to be on buy in week 13, but he's somebody who might pop in the playoffs. Do you have somebody usable for me this week for the next two weeks? Right. That, you know what I mean? And so we can we can talk. Uh, probably not going to do a deal, I'll be honest with I you. I mean, but you can afford a loss. I this is, this, this is, is true. Like, I, I score my highest points and still loss. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing I, I, uh, I, have, I have done where I have – literally gone to somebody that like when I was in a reverse situation, when I was like in a must win situation, like the week yeah. getting, and I like, like if I was on, if I was week 13 and I'm like, I know I need to win in week 13 and I'm playing a guy that has, that is definitely making the playoffs playing a, another team. I might say to him like, Hey, I'll tell you what, I'll give you Mark Andrews and my tight end is Mark Andrews. I'll give yeah. you Mark Andrews for a, a lesser tight end. That's playing this week. You take Mark Andrews. You're going to take a loss this week. But you'll have Mark Andrews for the playoffs. You don't need. It doesn't matter if you win or not. And yeah. this way, I win this week, yeah. and I live to fight another day. And then we see, we figure it out. Got to so, get it how you live. Got to yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do what you can. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched, or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.